Thank you for watching Studio 7 from the Permian Basin Chevy Dealers. How many times has someone said to you, you really need to take some time for yourself? When I hear that, my typical response is, yeah, right. Tell that to the kids, the dog, the husband, the job, and the house, all of which need my time and attention every day. I'm not alone here, right? Today, we're getting real with Jessica Phillips. We're focusing on this topic. This is a hard one. You're dealing with it. I'm dealing with it. I suspect any wife, mother, working mom, non-working mom feels the same way, right? I think so. Last week, we were leading up to my daughter's birthday party party and it's just been crazy you know it's Christmas New Year's birthdays homework projects and I sat down on the sofa and I, I had this moment where I thought what if somebody walks in and catches me sitting that's it I yeah. thought that like who's gonna walk in and catch me <laughs> you know but that, like I was sinning like I was doing something really wrong against life or against my family because I was taking because you sat down I sat down yeah and so when I read this article that we're talking about today it really resonated with me that we've got to make time for ourselves because we as women will get lost in doing and forget about being yeah this article talks about how choosing not choosing yourself is wrong and then it says eventually resentment will fost will fester you'll be exhausted and you'll have nothing left to give that really sums it up it totally sums it up because at the end of it, all we do is we feel guilty for taking the time for ourselves, um, and then th we, then we don't take the time for ourselves, and we feel resentful, just mad, just the mad, world. Yeah. exactly, and everyone becomes our victim. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I've, I've been there. Me too. Okay, so this article recommends a few things. So how do you overcome this? How do we do this? Number one, give yourself permission, and I think to go with that is give other women permission. Yes, you know, I, my, especially my stay-at-home moms when they say, you know, I, I'm so embarrassed. I took a nap today. I'm always like, good for you. Yeah. No, and I think that we say to each other as women, um, wow, you're doing so much. And I think we need to change our language to say, wow, you might be doing too much. Yeah. Instead of applauding that you're doing so much that we need to step back and go, are you doing too much? Are you burning out, you know? Okay, the second one, it says, tell someone your needs. And, and I yes. think that's key too, right? I think so too. I, this is really important in a marriage. Tell your spouse, like, babe, I've got to have this one hour a week, you know, or whatever it is that your need is. Like, mm -hmm. I've got to refuel, and this is the best way for me to refuel myself so I can be better in this family and be a better wife, be a better mom, whatever. Make the time. Yeah. That's hard too because, yeah. you know, you can think of a hundred things, laundry and clean yes. the kitchen and go vip at the school. That's right. You got to make the time, put it in your calendar, schedule it, force yourself to do it. For me right now, it's working out because I get a good endorphin release so it makes <laughs> me feel good. It really does. But taking that one hour a day to work out is a sacrifice. I feel really guilty because mm. I haven't been doing it that long. Yeah. So the more you do it, the better it becomes. The fourth one, do it. Do Just it. do it. Do it. And then the fifth one's easy. Do it again, again, and again okay. until it becomes part of part of your natural flow of life, part of your natural schedule that you're going to do this, um, and it becomes part of your routine. Honestly, we have to allow ourselves and allow our girlfriends to have this as well. We'll post the link to the article on our Facebook page so you can read it for yourself. We'd love to hear you sound off about this. Yep. I think the more we hear each other, give each other permission, the more we all feel okay to do it. Jess, yes. thanks for being here with us today. Thank you.